obtain the transfer function of a system using the board plot. So let's take a problem. So our problem is to determine the open loop transfer function from this board plot and the board plot is shown us in the figure. Now on the uh, y axis we have the magnitude in decibels that is dB and on the y axis we have the frequency log omega. And the frequency scale is divided like 1, 2, 4, 8, 24, 36 and this is the resultant magnitude plot of the system. Now from this magnitude plot we have to determine the transfer function. So let's solve this problem. Now first we will calculate the magnitude at this point because it is in the positive side so its magnitude will be equal to So its magnitude will be slope into number of brackets between the two frequencies. Now slope is 20. Here we are having minus 20 dB per decade. So slope we will take it as 20. And number of decades is first we have the frequency difference as log 2 minus log 1. Okay. And if you see, don't get confused here because if you extend this point, this, uh, this minus 20 dB per decade, this slope, it is going at 8. If you extend this line, then this slope is touching at or passing through the point 8. It is not passing from omega equals to 1 or this. So this point is passing from omega equals to 8. So the difference between the frequency will be log, two, uh, log 8 minus log 1. Okay. It is not here. It is touching at 8. So here we will have log 8 minus log one okay so when we calculate this it will come out to be 20 log 8 because log 1 is 0 so this is the magnitude at point x the constant term k because in the transfer function we can have uh, any type of factors like constant factor, integral factor, first order factor, second order factors. So first we will calculate the constant term k. So calculation of k is our next step. How we can calculate k? 20 log k is equals to this part that is the point at which it is touching this y-axis that is this point 
x. So at x the magnitude is 20 log 8. So if we compare this, the k will come out to be 8. Okay, so this is how we can calculate the constant term k. Now next we have the first line. Okay, this first line is having the slope minus 20 dB per decade. So this will be an integral factor because it is uh, crossing this omega equals to 1. So we have the slope change in first line is minus 20 dB per decade. So this will be an integral factor 1 by S because it passes through omega equals to 1. Okay. Next we have the corner frequencies. Corner frequencies are the frequency at which the magnitude plot is changing the slope. So corner frequencies if you see in the board plot we have the corner frequencies as 2, 4, 8, 24 and 36. So these are all the corner frequency because at each frequency the slope is being changed. So corner frequencies are 2, 4, 8, 24 and 36. First we will take omega equals to 2. So omega equals to 1 by t. t is the time constant and omega is the corner frequency. So from here we can calculate the t as 1 by 2. So time constant will be 0 0.5. Now slope changes. First we were having minus 20 dB per decade. Now it has become 0 dB per decade. So the slope changes plus 20 dB per decade. Because minus 20 plus 20 it will become 0 dB. Okay. So the factor which is having the corner frequency at omega equals to 2 will be having the slope as plus 20 dB per decade. So the slope is plus 20 dB per decade plus means that this term is present in the numerator and 20 means it is a first order factor. First order will have 20, second order will have 40. So 20 means it is a first order factor. So this factor it is now B1 plus ST form we can write the factor. So this will be 1 plus S by 2. It means 1 plus 0.5 S. This is our factor. First was the constant term, second is the integral factor and third is the first order factor. So this is our third factor. Now the next corner frequency is 4. So at omega equals to 4, again we have omega equals to 1 by 2. So t will be 1 by 4 or t we can say it is 0.25. Now slope change, if we see the slope change at this uh, frequency omega equals to 4, it is from 0 dB to plus 20. So the slope change is plus 20 dB per decade. So slope is plus 20 dB per decade. Plus means that this part is present in the numerator, this factor. And 20 means it is a again a first order factor. So writing this in 1 plus st form this will be 1 plus 0.25 s. Now next corner frequency is 8. So t will be 1 by 8 or we can say t is 0.125 s. Slope change Earlier it was plus 20, now it has become 0 dB. So plus 20 minus 20 will become 0. So slope is minus 20 dB per decade due to this fact. Minus means it is present in denominator. So it will be of the form 1 upon 1 plus st. Writing here 1 plus 0 
S. So these are the factors. Now next corner frequency is 24. So at 24, so omega equals to 1 by T, T will be 1 by 24. So T will be 0 0.042. Okay. Slope is Earlier it was 0, now it is minus 20. So slope is minus 20 dB per decade. Because 0 minus 20 will become minus 20 dB per decade. That is the resultant magnitude, resultant slope. So minus means it is present in the denominator and 20 means first order factor. So it is of 1 upon 1 plus ST form. So 1 upon 1 plus 0.042 S. At omega equals to 36, T will be 1 upon 36. So it will be 0 0.028. Slope is, earlier it was minus 20, now it has become minus 40. So minus 20, minus 20, then minus 40. So our slope changes minus 20 dB per decade. Again, a first order factor which is present in denominator. So, 1 upon 1 plus st, that is 1 upon 1 plus 0 0.28, 0 0.028 s. This is our next factor. So, let's combine all these factors and then form the open loop transfer function of the system. gs hs we have to gain k k the value of k was 8 then we have the factors in the numerator as 1 plus 0.5 s and 1 plus 0.025 s these were the factors in the numerator now denominator we have the integral then we have 1 plus 0.125 s 1 plus 0.042 s and 1 plus 0.028 s. So in total we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 factors of this transfer function. This is our constant term, this is integral and all these are the first order factors. So in this way we can find out the transfer function of a system using the board plot. So I hope this problem is clear to you. Thank you.